Hello internet, my name is Mark and welcome back to another typing video. If you don't know me already, I'm studying computer science and linguistics with a minor in game design and I can type at around 160, 170 words per minute on average. I've made a few typing videos on the channel and you can find those in the corner up here and they always seem to get a good amount of traction. In fact, my biggest video by far is my first typing video. Now, a lot of the times I'll get comments on those videos and a lot of the comments ask about how people can improve. Now, a lot of people on the videos I've made about how to improve will still ask any tips for improving and I don't really know what to say because I figure everything that I would have said would be in the video. So I decided to compile my most important tips that I found myself repeating in these comments into one video for you guys. In other words, if someone left the comment on my first video about, hey, I'm stuck, how do I type faster? Well, today we're gonna talk about strategies or tips that you can use to get out of these plateaus or this, this feeling of, I can't get any faster, it's not possible. What I say in a video is going to be presented much more effectively than what I would say in a comment. My hair's getting kind of long, but without further ado, we will be using Key Mash today. I've been playing on it quite a bit for the ranked mode, which makes it a lot more fun. We'll get into competition later, but let's start talking about progress in general, which brings us to tip number one. Progress is a long game. Nothing's gonna ever happen overnight exactly. Everything is going to be a culmination of building up. A lot of work over the span of several years might lead to one blow up. When you're improving a skill or a habit, it's the consistent effort where one day you look back and you say, huh, you know, I'm much better than I was. So if you ever feel like you're stuck at 50 words per minute or 90 words per minute or 13 words per minute or 140 words per minute, first thing is to look at how far you've come. I know when I was stuck at 140, I was like, God dang it, I've been stuck at 140 for so long. How do I get out of this rut? And then I realized, well, I was at like 120 a few months ago. It's well, several months ago, probably. But the point is you look back at where you started and to where you are. And to me, that should show us that it's possible to get from where you are to where you want to be again. It just takes time. And we have to remember that. God, these ads are so annoying. So here's a graph of my 10 fast fingers data. We can see a general trend here. Um, let's uh, take this away. But in 2016, so when I was like a sophomore in high school, I could type at around 120, 130 words per minute. That was probably like my peak times. When I tried again in 2013, I was at 145 and I stayed here. I stayed there for a really long time. And then I started getting, you know, 160s. And I remembered that being like, oh man, like I hit my new hat, new best. And now here, as of late, I've been averaging 150, 160. The point is, <laughs> Look at your progress over a long period of time. If you feel stuck, use the tips. We're gonna jump into this video to push yourself because when we're stuck, it's because we get comfortable. And when we get comfortable, we don't really push ourselves. We think I'm already doing the best I can. I'm already using all these right strategies. So let's not change our form, but change drills, I guess. How can we get out of this comfort zone, right? These plateaus of progress. And the first thing that I'll tell you is to touch type. I have a whole video on it here, so definitely check it out, but learn to type A without looking at the keyboard and B not by pecking with your two fingers. All of that is explained in this video here. Moving on to tip number three is to vary your mediums. For a very long time, 10 Fast Fingers was the only website that I used. When I say vary your mediums, I largely mean go between typing tests and quotes and different times of typing tests and stuff like that. So here's monkeytype.com. You can do times 15, 30, 60, 120, or custom. Now, if I do 60 seconds, let's just say I get 150 words per minute. If I do 15 seconds, I don't have to keep up the stamina for 60 seconds. Um... All right, so I got 170, my raw is 188. That was a 15 second test. If this went for 45 more seconds, I doubt I would get 170 or even 188. But what this 15 second test shows me is that when stamina isn't a problem, in other words, I don't get tired, I can hit 170 fairly consistently. If you're just doing these 60 second tests or just doing quotes, try typing a 15 second test, see how fast you can get in this short amount of time. Because what this tells me, I can get 170, 188, but A, my accuracy is not 100%, and B, I, if I can't hold that up for a minute, I gotta work on my stamina. So use different time tests, see how you do, see what's possible and see where you're at. Another way to vary things is to use quotes. All the tests I did on 10 Fast Fingers were <laughs> the most common words in the English language, which is fairly easy to type. But if we do quotes like this one, we have to worry about punctuation and all that stuff. So I just got 150 on, or once, I can get an average of 170 on words, right? So there. So there's two things that happened here. 
I've averaged 140 on quotes for quite a while. <laughs> of course it's niche, God damn it. There's two things I wanna point out with the test I just took. One is that I made a bunch of errors and I had to go back and delete them. And two is the use of punctuation. If I can type at 170 on just normal words, whatever, no punctuation, then doing something like using punctuation to bring me down can help me get faster. Because if I get faster at what is down here, in theory, I can get faster at what is up here. We have to focus on our weaknesses and they can sometimes help our strengths improve. The second thing is whenever I made a mistake, I had to delete it. On monkey type, I got 170. If I didn't make any mistakes, I would have gotten 188. But that is because I don't have to spend time back spacing or deleting words. It shows you a lot when you go down, when you go to something that makes you slower. So vary your mediums. If you're really good, if you're getting 60 words per minute on 10 fast fingers, try out these quotes on Keymash, try out the code on SpeedTyper, see where it takes you. You get better at those things, I'm sure you'll improve on average. Number four and number five are kind of the same thing, but number four is push your speed and five is know that you can go faster. Number four is saying forget about accuracy and just be as fast as you can. Number five is sort of what I talked about earlier with the 15 second test and just see that you can go faster and then work on that. Going hand in hand, this 15 second test, my accuracy was 93. If we go to a 30 second test and I focus on accuracy. So if I've, I'm gonna focus on accuracy here, if I see that I make a mistake and I'm quick enough, I'll delete it. Okay, 172 with a 99% accuracy. I'm really, I'm kind of shocked. I surprised myself a lot with this, but point here is if I feel like I'm stuck at 172, I can go faster than this, but my accuracy will take a hit. So as I try and go faster, then let's, you know what? Let's try and go faster. Then I'll try and demonstrate my point. <laughs> okay, so that was so bad, right? But look, I got 185 raw. WPM was 135 and my accuracy was 82%. So in theory, right, going along with that 15 second test, in theory, I can get this. In theory, I can get 185 words per minute by typing that fast, but I'm making errors. One way to type faster in general, scrapping accuracy is to read to your reading speed. So if I go ahead and start a new test, I'm not gonna actually start typing, but as I'm typing well, I read well and then I type plan. Read plan as I'm typing well and see how many words ahead you can go. If you're typing at, let's see, system such the a. In theory, you want to you want to type at who some to just to play leave time still. But you can read even faster than that. Try and maybe say it out loud or read as fast as you can, or at least faster than your typing speed, and type to match that speed. Long new all down problem such follow. Right, so I hit follow and I wasn't even started on such yet, I don't think. Break your accuracy and slowly try to increase your accuracy. If you go too fast, slow it down a little bit. I'm not gonna ramble too much about this, but I hope that kind of gives you a good idea of what I'm going for. I think in general, this is a great mental exercise that you can use to work on your typing speed. And it gives us a really easy metric to work with. You have this metric of how fast you can read and you want your typing to approach that. That is probably my most useful tip or just mental exercise that you can use on just about any website. Number six is know your community and know your games. So every website I've been on has a Discord server, pretty much. Type Racer, Keymash, and 10 Fast Fingers are the Discords I'm on. I'm sure the other ones have one. I'm sure Monkey, I'm pretty sure Monkey Type does have one actually. But join those communities. Surrounding yourself with like-minded people can be super important for anything, especially when typing. Seeing other people make progress, being able to share your own progress is super, super helpful. The other thing is know your games. There are various different mediums for typing and one of them was actually left by a user which is called Z-Type. This would probably fit better among number five and stuff, but using games, just like you can use other people, can show you how much faster you can go and where you are currently at. So if I go ahead and start a game on Z-Type, What's great about this, repeat, miss, black, funny. With every wave, it increases in speed. I've made it to wave 25, I think is my best. So my first game was here, wave 21, accuracy 89.4, my best, wave 24, accuracy 94.91. These types of websites are a great way to just have a metric and you can use other people for that too. That being said, with community and knowing your games, try out Keymash's competitive mode. I think it's really fun and that plays into know your community and know your games there's competition. Competition is always fantastic, whether it be friendly or not friendly competition. All right, coming up on the end here, number seven is to stretch and practice consistently. You know how I mentioned that progress is a long game? Well, if you type on Monday and then don't type for another month, it's gonna be a really long game for you. I practice typing every other day or so for like 15 minutes, sometimes longer, it depends. You know, sometimes I type and just play on Keymash. Sometimes I go on monkey type and say, okay, I'm gonna start reading faster than I type. You gotta practice at some consistent degree and 15 minutes every day will be much better than an hour every four days. And 
also stretch. Typing is a physical exercise. I talk more about in a video that might be here. I probably have too many up here at this point, but um, stretch, pull your fingers back, hold for 10, pull your fingers back, hold for 10, tendons here, up, down, in, out. My left hand usually gets pretty tight because I have it so wound up. It types most of the keys for me. Make sure you're, you know, stretching here and there. Just shake it out sometimes and practice consistently. <laughs> All right, and last but not least, for number eight, know your basics and hone in on your mistakes. Along with everything I've mentioned, this is the most important tip, I guess. And that is just a simple methodology. When you practice, make sure you're practicing conscientiously. In other words, if you're practicing pecking and you don't want to peck anymore, don't peck. If you're on monkey type and you're frustrated because using home row is getting you 10 words per minute when pecking gets you 50 and you just go back to pecking, you're not working on anything. Practice conscientiously. For me, it took me a while to bring in my right ring finger, but now that I do, I'm hitting 170 and I feel like I can go much faster than when I was only using these three. And know your basics. So Keymash has a really cool learn feature where <laughs> It's almost embarrassing. Left top row, right? E Q W T R R Q R Q W. I just typed at 27 words per minute. Take from this what you will, but go on their learn function, check it out. I would really recommend it. It's honestly kind of funny how slow I get by using it because it's not words, right? It's just letters and you can only use one hand and it, it forces you to use the proper fingers. So know your basics and practice conscientiously. If you feel like you're getting slow, come to here. This will slow you down almost definitely. Going back to that earlier tip, come to something that slows you down and it hopefully, or in my experience, I should say, bring your average up some way, somehow. Nothing will get better without practice. Sometimes progress will seem invisible, but it will happen as long as you do it conscientiously. If I run at 10 minute mile every single day for just one mile and keep doing that, I will never push myself to run a two minute mile or run an eight minute mile. I know I used running an analogy in the last typing video, but that's the best one I got for you. If you think you're stuck in a plateau, you've got the biggest thing out of the way and that is recognizing that you're comfortable. We get comfortable knowing how fast we can type and it isn't until we push ourselves by adding in another finger, by changing our format, by typing quotes or code instead of just words, by adding in capitalization. When we push ourselves outside of our comfort level, that's when growth happens. And it's really frustrating. It is so frustrating to add in a new finger and drop from 170 to 120, from 100 to 40. It is incredibly frustrating, but that's how you break out of the plateau. You improve, you improve, and then you plateau. And without pushing against something, you're not gonna go back up. In my experience, that's with just about everything. But you've recognized that you're either comfortable or not good at something, whether that be the end result or that you are comparing, whatever. I have a lot to say on progress, maybe another video in the future, but that is it for today. I love comments, so don't hesitate to leave them down below. If you do ask me for typing tips, I don't know how I'm gonna respond. <laughs> a bunch of helpful videos are in this corner, so don't forget to check those out. Probably some on the end screen now, but without further ado, thank you so much for watching. Have a good one, and as always, don't forget to stay awesome. See you next week.